The Royal Coronation's getting closer. We don't have a definitive answer though from the two in the Californian wilderness. So let's get an update now. Royal update with Fantastic Sarah Hewson, Royal editor at Talk TV, who joins us live from London. Well, will they or won't they? That's what everyone's asking here, even here in Australia, Sarah. A whole list of demands we've heard about, raising eyebrows in royal circles. People fear they're going to throw the whole thing into chaos. What can you tell us? Well, I can't, uh, Peter, answer the question of will they or won't they yet because they haven't made a decision. We're just over six weeks away from the coronation uh, and tense negotiations are taking place behind the scenes. Uh, Harry and Meghan reportedly wanting to know how their children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, will be involved in the coronation before they accept an invitation. The palace saying they want to know if they're coming before they decide on the plans. Will Archie and Lilibet be in the Abbey? I'm not sure that's the biggest issue, bearing in mind their age, Archie turning four on the day of the coronation, Lilibet still one. But will they be on the Buckingham Palace balcony? That is apparently what the Sussexes want. I think that's unlikely for a king that wants a slimmed down monarchy, highly unlikely that we're going to see all of the royal family on it, just the working members. So we're still at stalemate is the answer. And just quickly, I'm almost out of time. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh now, how's that gone down? Well, I think, Peter, um, they may be quite far down the pecking order in terms of the line of succession, but they're seen as highly regarded members of the royal family, a real asset uh, to the king. So they've been promoted to the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. Sophie, the former Countess of Wessex, now the Duchess, described as the king's secret weapon. Uh, such is the supportive role they can play. So it's been received well.